So in this problem, the heading for this problem, I told you this, this is under non-standard conditions. And so if we say that it's under non-standard conditions, that right away should tell you that you're working with a Nernst equation. But if I did not tell you it was a non-standard conditions, what in the text of the problem would tell you that you need to use the Nernst equation? It gives you concentration and okay. the standard cell potential. Yes, so concentrations are given. And they're not equal to one molar. So since the concentrations are given, that tells you that we're non-standard. Another thing that's useful is that the standard cell potential is given. And we're looking for the current cell potential. So both of those items together tell you that you need to use the Nernst equation. Um, the next thing you want to look at is to use the Nernst equation, one of the first things you need is the moles of electrons transferred. And just listening to the class as I walked around, it sounds like that's still one area where you're getting stuck a little. Um, the easy way to do this is to look at the half reactions. But when you're looking at the half reactions, take out the coefficients. So, for example, the half reaction for the aluminum is aluminum going to aluminum 3 plus with 3 electrons. And then if you look at the balanced equation, we actually have two aluminums there. So, you would take that times 2, 2 times 3 electrons tells us that there are 6 electrons transferred. So that's one of the things that you need for the Nernst equation. Uh, also in this problem, I tell you that it's at 298 Kelvin. And so that tells you which version of the Nernst equation you can use. You can actually use the simpler version of the Nernst equation where the cell potential equals the standard cell potential minus 0 0.0592 volts over N times the log of Q. Now we already figured out what N is. Uh, 0 0.0592 is given to us. We're given the standard cell potential, so that tells us the next thing we have to solve for is Q. So again, you have to remember what Q is and how would we calculate Q? That would be the concentrations of the products, which is the aluminum 3 plus ions raised to the second power times the concentration of the iodide ions raised to the sixth power. And then the product, uh, the reactants don't matter in this case because both of the reactants are solids so they don't appear in the calculation of Q. So now after you've done that we can find Q and then it's just a matter of doing the math and keeping everything straight. And your final answer for this should be that the cell potential is a positive 2.3 seven volts. So any questions about that? Again, what you'll have to remember and the notes you'll have to write to yourself is in a week from now, how do you remember to use the Nernst equation? And that's the first two items that we talked about there here. Okay? So any questions about this problem?